Hola guys! Y'all want to get into some bags? Yes, let's! Um, I've been at it again, as y'all can see. I think this is mainly Dollar Tree. There's one little thrifty bag in here. And, um, a Big Lots bag, I think. But, um, it's the middle of the week. And, um, I'm going to have people over to celebrate uh, my big boy's official graduation, which was last night. Yay. For those of you that um, see me or know me on Facebook, you guys have been bombarded with pictures and video and all sort of thing. But I figured I need to put all this stuff away uh, because um, I probably won't get a chance to make a video this weekend. And y'all know how we do. So look, I'm repping the school colors. <laughs> Anywho, um, let's just see what I've picked up. Um, I had this Milani lip gloss a while back and I thought it was too dark for me, but I'm like really wanting to try that deep maroon, um, trend in color now. So I bought it again, and we'll see if I can make it work. It's not that it looked bad. I'm just not used to anything this dark. But I think I thought I would try it again. I got a um, one of these little veggie brushes because for some reason, I end up buying the nastiest, dirtiest, filthiest potatoes, mushrooms, and strawberries on the planet. And the strawberries, I think, worry me the most because... A potato you can peel, a mushroom you can kind of scrub really, really well without damaging it too much, but a strawberry, have y'all ever pulled a strawberry out of the carton and it has a dirt clump on it? That's kind of disturbing. It's like with all the little nooks and crannies in a strawberry, I'm pretty sure I'm going to bite into some grit. But yeah, I had a traumatic experience with a massive steroid strawberry that I had to scrub the heck out of. And I didn't have one of these, so I grabbed one. I got one of these, um, well actually I got two of these multi-purpose bandanas for one of my little cyber sisters who asked if I came across them to get her some and I found this one. I thought these colors were pretty. Yes, Miss Temperance, I am talking about you, darling. Um, I grabbed that one and then this one. Um, I thought they were pretty. She could mix and match. Um... I think pretty well with those and I got little dude a finding dory a little magic towel um, I haven't bought these in a really really long time because we have so many of them but we are dory obsessed so grab those I think this is just yep it's just water um, keeping track of my water intake and I grabbed some of those I got little dude some more peanuts I think that's it in that one. Yeah. Oi. I found these. Oops, the top came off. I found these uh, Lysol Power Free Tap Tops. Um, you get your little sponge or, or rag and you press down on here to get the product out. And I saw uh, Mrs. Hopeful Hen. Hey, Tina. Uh, put these out on her haul. And... Um, we live uh, kind of close, and we, we go to the same Dollar Trees, uh, at least one or two of the same Dollar Trees. And when I saw that she had found these, I hit the one I thought she might have gone to, and I found it. Um, now I'm seeing them all over. Uh, so I thought I would give this a try. I got two of them, one for each bathroom, because I use something else for the kitchen. But uh, I thought I'd give those a shot, and there are two. Yeah, there's the second one. Um just to have them why did the little tops come off tina's little top came off too but that's what they are lysol tap tops i grabbed two and then i grabbed more shoelaces because i was the one who um whose shoes were eating shoelaces and now my oldest uh his tennis shoes are eating their shoelaces so i grabbed more of those hmm, there's the copy um there's the other water. Sometimes they'll put little things in here. But nope, that looks like just water. And then my last DT bag. 
I have the flash on. I just realized that. I was wondering why the heck is everything so bright? Um, I grabbed more of these ginger snappies because this is the sweet I treat myself to. I love these and I can have five for a good, a decent amount, not too bad, a carb count and a really good sugar count. So I grabbed two of these because I am snackish and because these are the only kind of sweet things I can eat. I like to have them at home and they're so delicious. So I grabbed two of those and I went ahead and grabbed some of the clear quill. Uh, I thought it was like a day quill but it's from the makers of day quill uh, you get 24 liquid caps for a buck are you kidding me and these finally made their way to my dollar trees because my dollar trees um had not had them uh, at least the one i usually go to had not had them and the shelf was full this go around i probably should have gotten more uh because um my oldest gets really bad sinus headaches and congestion it's allergy kind of stuff and this is perfect for him i probably should have gotten more but i didn't um then also um uh, tina pulled some of these she found these at a, a dollar tree here and i'd been looking for them and maybe i wasn't paying attention um i may not have been paying attention because there were a whole bunch of rows of these and this is the tempered glass screen protected protector um, sorry if I'm fumbling. I am so tired, guys. This graduation left me exhausted. Um, but, um, the cat's outside trying to get in. If y'all hear clicking in the background. Um, anywho. Um, I got two of these just because, um, if I screw one up trying to put it on, I'll have another to fall back. But I think these are really awesome and for a buck because I see them way more expensive everywhere else. So, grab that. And then I found... There were three of these, the little Revo lip balms, and they're the push-up you push from the bottom, and uh, the product splooshes up. Well, you know, it just pushes up. And they had a watermelon and a cherry, and I'm not a big fan of watermelon and cherry. I have plenty of the chapstick, and I love strawberry, so I thought I would try this. I was tempted to get all three, but nah. I just went ahead and grabbed one in case I don't like it. And then I found these, and I've seen these at Walmart, not for a dollar, but I've seen this type of thing at Walmart. It's the um, colored bubbles, and they're very small. The ones at Walmart aren't that much more expensive, and you get a bigger bottle, but I just thought they were really cute. Uh, this is um, it's colored bubbles, baby blue bubs, and little yellow bubs. Oh, goodness. I have flour under my fingernails. Sorry, guys. I made some uh, tortillas for the boys earlier, and I have flour under my fingernails. Sorry for the disgusto of it all, if any of you noticed. Um, And then this is Perpet Bubs. Aren't they cute? These are the only colors they had. Maybe there'll be more colors at other Dollar Trees. But that's what I found. Oops, I'm dropping stuff. That is my Dollar Tree haulage. Back here is a Thrift Town bag. We went to Thrift Town sometime last week, and guys, I only walked out with two things. A bag of little random toys for Little Dude, which are scattered everywhere, as they usually are. And then I found this thingy. Uh, I'm hoping that this mark comes off. It should, I hope. But I love that it was leopard. And let me open it, guys. Hang on. Okay. It's one of these cosmetic cases. And it's in really nice shape. Now, I'm not big on the whole travel makeup case thing. But can anybody tell me what these are for? They're kind of spongy and they detach with a snap. See? And um, But I don't know what you would put in there. But I thought maybe somebody could tell me. And then there's lots of other little compartments for things. It's in really nice shape. Um, and I googled out of curiosity, look at this, it's just so many of these um, compartments. It's just a really nice thingy to have and we're doing a quick uh, road trip uh, for the weekend in July to go see um, Fluffy, uh, the comedian, 
And um, I thought this would be good. Of course, I'm not going to load it up with that much makeup. But I'm thinking, you know, it, it may come in handy. And I googled the brand. Um, it's Preserve. And I googled the brand. And something similar to this. Not this one because I don't know how old this is. But something similar to this on their website was $24. $5.99 or something. $24.99, $25.99. And I paid $3.99 for it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, then the only other place that I've been to since I last talked to you guys was Big Lots. And I don't remember what I went in there for, but I walked out with East of Eden. Sorry for the glare. Which I already have. It, um, I ended up buying... Um, multi james dean movie collection at target i think and there's east of eden is on the rebel without a cause and something else um and i couldn't remember if east of eden was the one that i didn't have the one i don't have is giant i'm looking for giant and i i know i can go on amazon and buy giant but i like the thrill of the hunt uh, to try and find it, you know for sale at walmart or target or at a thrift store so i got confused i thought East of Eden was the one I didn't have, and it's giant that I don't have, but it was five bucks. And I may just put this in a giveaway because I'm already working on another giveaway for you guys. This would have nothing to do with the theme I'm working on for the other one, but I did find something really awesome on clearance at Walmart that I don't, I won't use for myself, but I know somebody would enjoy. So I'm working on a giveaway around that. And, um, Heck, I may throw this in there. I don't know. Or just may do a whole nother different um, giveaway. But that's for another video. I've rattled on too much with that. But um, then I found Dirty. Uh, Cuba Gooding Jr., Clifton Collins Jr. I like both of these dudes. Uh, violence is a language. Gangs understand. Um, I think one cop may be a bit shady and the other one isn't. And it was on sale for three bucks. So I grabbed that. It sounds really interesting. And the only other things that I picked up since I last saw you guys were the oh what the heck were these this awesome red pure ice um, uh, nail polish and it was on sale for seventy five cents and it was so pretty and I know I have colors similar to this um, but sometimes they're just they're just so pretty and they may be just a little tiny shade different than the one I already have. So I grabbed that. And then I found a whole bunch of these. And I've seen these before. But they never shake up well. And my son's school colors are red, white, and blue. Um, and I was going to get this one so I could paint my nails for his graduation. But then I found this one that I'm wearing currently. And this is exactly the color of their gown and their school colors so this one kind of fell to the wayside but check this out this is i'm sorry for the glare this is scented nail enamel um y'all ever heard of that uh this is moonlight woods in the scent moonlight woods i'm oh, sorry i don't know why i have a flash on i think it's still in graduation mode but yeah this is called moonlight wood moonlit woods and i haven't smelled it because i don't want to gag but they're, they're a whole, there's a whole bunch of these in these little old-fashioned perfume-looking bottles and all types of scents. And um, I really like this color, so I grabbed it. And that was $1.50. So, and the reason I haven't bought them before is because you see how kind of runny it is? Can you tell it's a little runny? And I shake and shake and shake, and they stay a little runny. So I didn't want to bring home a busted-up um, nail polish. But, um... This color was just too pretty to leave behind. And if it totally sucks, then it's just a dollar fifty lost. But that's everything. That is my smallish haul compared to the other monster one I showed you guys the other day. And as much as I would have loved to sit in front of the camera and say hi to you guys, because I feel it's so much more personal and I feel like I'm talking closer and more one on one with you guys when I'm in front of the camera. I <laughs> I am looking haggard and pooped and tired. But um that's everything. I'm actually going to dip into these right now before bed. Uh, just because I haven't had any. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys very, very soon. I will not call Little Dude in here because it's 
midnight and little dude is asleep but until my next go around thanks for watching love you guys bunches bye bye